This is Steven from Heiko. Let me introduce you to our latest electric bike, the City Shark. To develop this model, we listen to our customers' feedback, expressing the need for a lighter city bike with an extended range. Our product management team first targeted a lighter electric motor, since it's the heaviest component on the bike. The requirements were sent to our motor supplier. Then, we asked our battery supplier to develop a battery pack that would extend the range by at least 25%. At Heiko, we're now adopting the ModSim approach when developing our new products. ModSim is the integration of modeling and simulation throughout the product development cycle. The 3D Experience platform allows us to easily create different variants of parts and associate specific simulations to these parts to do design exploration. We can then select the best part that meets our requirements. The 3D Experience platform contains all the tools that we need to define requirements, do project planning, and communicate with all the people involved in the project. ModSim clearly reduced our development time and prototyping costs. On our side, we aim for weight reduction by designing the frame with smaller bars than on our previous models. Heiko is now using 3D Experience Works, so I started from SolidWorks Desktop and connected to the 3D Experience platform. This gives me access to advanced structural simulation capabilities based on proven Abacus technology. I set up the typical load cycle encountered within a city ride to get the maximum stresses on the frame. The durability analysis identified the most critical connection to the frame. I was then able to dimension the bars properly to meet the frame requirements. At the same time, our motor supplier took our requirements and started designing a new version of their motor. They started with redesigning an existing motor in SolidWorks Desktop and leveraged 3D Experience Platform to validate the electromagnetic performance of the updated version. They modeled multiple configurations of coils, magnets, and core materials to compute the torque against angular velocity curve. With a simulation-driven design approach called ModSim, they came up with a motor which is smaller and lighter with only a small loss in maximum torque. Our battery supplier proposed an extended version of an existing battery pack. They redesigned the pack in SOLIDWORKS to include an additional battery module composed of 10 cells, leading to a four module pack with a theoretical increase in range of 33%. A concern regarding the operating temperature was raised to ensure safety. By connecting SOLIDWORKS to the 3D Experience platform, they were able to leverage thermal simulation capabilities to assess the battery cell and casing temperatures at maximum torque operation. Then, they updated the casing design with open slots and concurrently updated the thermal simulation model with minimal effort. In the end, the maximum cell and casing temperatures between both designs were not very different. They also took advantage of the injection molding simulation capability on the 3D Experience platform to evaluate the uniformity of plastic flow in both versions of the molds. The casing with open slots showed longer plastic filling time around the slots. Because of this, and the additional cost of the mold for a casing with open slots, the supplier chose to go with the initial fully closed casing design. All of our suppliers rapidly shared their revised designs within the collaborative environment of the 3D Experience platform. I was able to access all the new designs and quickly build a complete digital twin of our new e-bike. I then did a crash test simulation of the bike against a wall to identify weaknesses in the assembly. The visualization of the crash really helps to understand what would happen during such an event. Manufacturers are also responsible for the electromagnetic emission compliance of their products. Therefore, we simulated the electromagnetic wave emissions from the new motor. I was even able to include the wire that connects the controller on the handlebar to the motor, which is acting as an antenna. I was able to see that the emissions from our new bike are below the compliance threshold and that it can pass certification. Now that we leverage the 3D Experience Works portfolio in our regular development cycle, we can easily develop a true digital twin that can be fully tested and certified even before building the first prototype. With the ModSim approach offered by the 3D Experience platform on the cloud, we enhanced our product performance in terms of strength, durability, manufacturability, thermal and electromagnetic efficiency. This helped to minimize prototyping costs, enhance product quality, and accelerate time to market.